the Benelli Volcano 180 cc's of pure raw motorcycle power the Volcano is a rare beast only 200 of these little puppies were made God knows how many there are left and the story of uh, how this very interesting bike came to be can be seen on the website www.mybenellis.com now when you talk about the volcano there's really one thing you're talking about and that is the motor and uh, keen-eyed observers will note that this little engine is not so little it fills up the entire engine bay it's really a uh, an engine that was meant for a larger bike the uh, Benelli Enduro which I own and uh, it moves that bike along fairly well, but it moves the volcano along very, very briskly indeed, let me tell you. So this is a cute bike. It's in terrific shape. Got it, got it in Connecticut. This, the chrome is shining. It's in perfect shape. Wish you could see the Benelli on the back of the seat. There it is. Look at that. But I've got this little soft bag here on the back, custom deal, which has made the bike very, uh, very useful. little commuter vehicle. And the reason we can get this bag on is because the Volcano has a very cool little luggage rack mechanism that slides in and out. So you turn the wing nut and you pull this chrome rack out on its sliding rails and you've got luggage capacity. Amazing. Another cool thing about the Volcano is the little plastic cylindrical it says BM, a little plastic engraved little toolkit thing. These are ultra rare, rarer than the bikes themselves because you see a lot of volcanoes, relatively speaking, and very few of them have these toolkits on there. I don't know where you'd get one of these. You could probably sell it for $200 on eBay, just the uh, plastic thing, which brings up this curious phenomena of parting out bikes because you can get more for the parts than you can if you leave the bikes in one piece. Now, uh, that's not something I approve of. So, uh, since I'm not in the parts business, I like to just uh, keep the bikes intact. So this bike is intact. It was made in October 1970 in Pissarro, Italy. The chrome is shining. The prettiest little gas tank in the world. You got red, gold, and then the course colors of the Italian flag, red, white, and green. Little mixture sticker there. The bike's perfect, really. Pretty close to perfect. You've got the Benelli. Uh, stickers there. They're not stickers. That's what it's all about. They're badges. Plastic badges. This one's a little cracked, but it's really pretty good. The colors are there. It's not trash. The one on the other side, although it's fallen down a little bit, it's so perfect that I'm afraid to touch it. Look at that. Every volcano you see has stickers on the tanks. The originals are gone. They get The gasoline washes over them, melts the glue, and they fall off and or get trashed. So... When you see a bike like this that has both original tank badges on, you know it's in good shape. And of course, if you look at the odometer, we've got 348 miles, which we believe to be original. So what more can you say about the Volcano? It's an awesome bike. Get one while you can. Get them while they're hot. We've got those sort of squared off industrial, I don't know if they're steel or aluminum, but they're, uh, I should test it out, but they kind of give the bike a chunky little look. Um, the Volcano, in short, is one fantastic little bike, the Ne Plus Ultra of mini cycles. I know I said that about the Dynamo, but in fact it's the Volcano that grabs that prize. Wonderful, wonderful bike. Pretty soon we're going to take it for a little ride. www.mybenellis.com. Over and out.